Hello guys, hope you're doing fine. Today I will show you how you can connect your All AI with Build.com to automate your image generation, text to image, image to image, image to video, and text to audio. So let's jump in. Once you purchase the app from us and you install the app, you have our app code, and then you head over to your Build.com new scenario and jump into your new scenario, and then you start this. Click on plus sign, top all type all AI and all, and you will see the our app. And then you can choose whatever you want to do. I will just show you how you can do the connection. Okay. So this is generate text to image, and when you open this, if you have already connection, you will see create a connection. Uh, you will see the connection, and you can add a new connection anytime. Or if you don't have any connection, you can do create new connection. It's already there, but I will show you how to do that. So you can click on plus sign. Then what you have to do is that you have to get the API key and the token that you will getting from the uh, email from us, and uh, that you can get it when you purchase that. In the API key, you have to head over to your Flux or any model that you're using. Just simply go to your all, go to home page, and when you go to home page, there is an API section. And in the API section, you will have an option to create the API key. I will create a new one. Just name it test. Testing. That I can delete it later. Create key. And I have a key. I have to copy it. Copy the key. And then add over to your it.com scenario. Paste it here. Again, just use the token that you will be getting from us. For me, it's simply one, two, three, press space, that's it. And simply click on save connection. Click on save connection. Sorry. Click on save connection. It will open a new window. Yeah. It will open a new window. It will apply our app code. It is valid. It will check your API key and boom, connection is done. I will give you just a demonstration on how you can use it, but you can use it according to your on automation, on ideas, how you want to use it. But let's use, we have select models, we have like Flux 1 Pro, and it, these are the available model for now on your app. Uh, and if you need it, you can request it from us, but these are the built-in models that we have so far. Flux 1 Pro, and these are the default settings. Image size, I am going to import it. Let's set the fonts, let's say, from this one, 16, all with this fonts. Simple as that. Again, number of images one, single model no, and one of it. That's it. And this one. Okay, it's done. It gives us the response, it is in queue. So how you can get your image and check the thing. So you see that is in the response URL and there is another module which you can use it for get a response. So instantly it shows in the queue. So I will simply copy it. You can just put a like 10 seconds delay or whatever and then you can push your response back here, response URL. Click on OK. Space in it. Yeah. Okay, so run it. Boom. My image is created. I will head over. This is the seed that you can use in your next one if you want. And simply click on it. Correct. Click on and go to that. Okay, so you can. Modify your phone that this is what it is done, and you can use this image, you can download the image, there are multiple images, then you can create a video from that or whatever you want. Thank you. Looking forward to your ideas, how you can implement it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you. Have a great day.